I got some very juicy AI news for you. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So Mid Journey said today in their office hours that the version four is dropping within the next days. They say we will get a better quality. It will render faster, use less GPU time. So it's cheaper on the rendering and it also gives us higher resolution. All of that sounds super promising, especially because minus minus test and minus minus test P have already been really, really amazing. Also, there is another AI model coming called Nietzsche Journey. So I can't really tell you where that is coming from, but I guess from the name you can kind of guess it. Right now, there's a very limited test for just a handful of people. So don't go crazy asking for access. But as you can see here on the screen, it can create pretty amazing, really cute AI styles, but you can also do other things like, for example, these kind of concept art stars here that look very beautiful from the details, from the perspective. So that is specifically made for that purpose. And it's really amazing. This is also done with that Nietzsche journey engine in the closed beta, as you can see, very nice details. This is similar to the AI alien render that I have done in the past. But here I feel like you can see different material qualities and very fine textures. I also love the reflections here and the glowing eyes. Let's look here at some other pictures, like for example, this kind of a little bit Ghibli style landscape. Very cute, nice details. And also I like the reflections because here you can see that the reflections actually work with the shape of the trees above. So that is very, very good. Here we have another image. Look how beautiful this fairy is holding her skirt, how that is falling, how the light is coming together. The hand is a little bit botched here, but the details are still very good overall. What it can do really nicely also is this kind of isometric style that I really enjoy. Really cute details in here with the plants, with the different levels of that house and here with this little tower that is very nice and a little bit of foggy background too. So all of that looks pretty amazing. I like how this is animated, how the different materials feel different. Like for example, the leather here has a different feel than the metal here on the arm or the hair in the beard. Let's zoom in here a little bit closer. You can see how beautiful that is and how it also um, kind of simulates different brush strokes in here here from the drawing. So that is really, really nice. Here we have a rendering from a cyberpunk Blade Runner kind of style. Also beautiful with these kind of neon lights with the details with the shading. Also here with the nice highlights on the side and here the highlight for the nose to bring out these details. Very, very nice. And I like how these neon shapes really follow the body shape and bring that out even more so that the AI does it really good. Even here on the arm, there's a little bit of a tattoo. So these little details that bring everything alive are really amazing in that Nietzsche journey model. Here's another amazing picture of a halfling Lord of the Rings kind of style standing in a landscape. Look at that beautiful face and the details here, the reflection in the eyes. I like how well all of these details work. Also the shape of the ears, how most of this is anatomically correct and even the hands work very well. So that is very, very impressive. Another image I really enjoy is this fox in a suit looking really like a treat. Very amazing. Look at these details here. The hair in the ears, really good from these details here. The individual hairs you can see here in the face, also this very small and thin beard hair here also working out. And then look at these details, how you can see the texture of the jacket being very different from the texture of the shirt. So you can actually feel these different materials. Very, very nice. We also have some dog images here. This is really beautiful. And again, I like the difference in material from how soft the fur feels, but then you can also feel this kind of metal helmet here that is working very well with these 
small details here and the neck guard you can feel that the neck guard here has a different softer but sturdy material compared to the helmet so all of that works out really really well and last but not least another interior design again look into how well the details work how the furniture fits to the perspective also the carpet on the ground and the table with the oval fitting to the perspective in the room also how the soft light is falling through the window giving you a little bit of volumetric light here in the middle and we also have a reflection over here that kind of seems to fit to that window as the last ai news today i have this stable diffusion models page that i will link below in the video description and here you can download pre-trained models for different kinds of styles and purposes a lot of them also are anime styles now i want to warn you that some of these links include rendering content that is not safe for work so it's kind of content so be careful with that and also keep that stuff away from your children but there is a lot of other stuff in there that's really interesting and that can create really amazing works for you leave a like if you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you soon bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um, yeah.